Hello everybody, this is uh, All Washington. We're continuing with the All Washington Rent series, You Are the Antichrist. Um, we, we last left off at, at um, 1 John chapter 2, and we're going to continue on with 1 John chapter 2. Uh, what we're going to start at this time, we're going to start at verse 15 of 1 John chapter 2. Uh, verse 15 reads this. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is, is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, <clears throat> the, the, the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. And we're going to stop right there for a few minutes. Now, well, what this um this verse of scripture is talking about is stuff um obviously it's talking about do do not love the world, but but you have to understand uh, what exactly is it talking about when it's saying do not love the world. What is what exactly is it talking about? Is it talking about don't don't love you know um the things there that's in the world and stuff like that? You know, what I'm saying like you know um 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 like say for example the people that are in the world. Or you know what I'm saying the the jobs that you have or uh, things that that uh you know that's in the world stuff you know what I'm saying things that you're driven to accomplish and stuff like that is it telling us not to love that no this ain't what this um, this verse of scripture is talking about actually this um verse of scripture is uh actually talking about the things of the world that's dealing with selfishness you know what I'm saying with self intent and stuff where where only does benefits only you and you want it and nobody else and stuff so <clears throat> so case in point so case in point now for for example uh let, let's let's say that uh you're your person who's um career driven and stuff right and you're trying to make a living for yourself and stuff like that you know you 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 know your divine calling that god you know um showed you to be and you're fulfilling that that calling and stuff right that's not loving the world but however, if you're doing it just, just for selfish intent because you're just trying to make a whole lot of money so you can live lavishly and stuff like that and not help uh, people around you or, you know what I'm saying, help your community or help your, your federal man or even honor God with it, you know what I'm saying, or, you know what I'm saying, not even honor yourself with it, stuff like that, then that's what it's talking about, not loving the world and the desires of the world because it's of the flesh. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then all this stuff is gonna, all the saying that is gonna come is, and is gonna go, it is gonna pass away. Then once when that pass away, so then what, what else you gonna have is nothing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's what that, that scripture is talking about in regards to that. So it's by no means, um, this scripture is telling you that, you know, you can't go out into the world and make a living, um, you know, uh, have different things like uh, houses and cars and you know and stuff like that you know what I'm saying like certain material stuff and stuff and not saying that but however uh what what this sounds stressing as I'm stressing the point is that when you let these things be way more important than than uh than the things that I've not mentioned in the other rants and stuff is that if it's more important than God it's a, if it's more important than your yourself being if it's more important than the people around you and if it's more important than nature itself then it's not a God at all and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or in other words, you know what I'm saying, it, it is the, the thing of the Antichrist and stuff. So she, you shouldn't have no part of that and stuff. Okay, now, verse, verse 18 is the most important part and stuff um, of what, what I'm talking about. Verse 18 uh, all the way to verse um, 26 is going to really, really um, grind the... the um, the peanut butter to the jelly of uh, this uh, Antichrist rant that I'm talking about and stuff. So let's let's start at verse 18 of Saint John, of First John, <clears throat> of First John, chapter two, and it reads this: Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been, been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might become plain that they all are not of us. 
but you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that that Christ is that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever confess whoever confess the Son has the Father also. Let let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will, will abide in the Son and the Father. And this is the promise that he had made to us, eternal life. I write, I write these things to you about those who are trying to deceive you. But the anointing that you receive from him abides in you and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything is true and there's no lie just as he taught and abide in him and i'm stopped there now this this <clears throat> this on scripture is um is a very important scripture about this on rant like i said and so this this scripture is beginning to um reveal to us that that, that, that there are there are that there are um things out there and stuff actually um things or even people out there that reveal itself as being the antichrist and stuff. Now, the scripture starts start um clarified about the antichrist. But if you were, if you was paying attention to um First John um chapter chapter one and chapter two, chapter one and two start giving you the characteristics of the antichrist, and I start telling you about the characteristics of the antichrist. But once again, I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna break it down of what it's talking about and stuff. Now, now the whole care once again, the whole characteristics of the antichrist is this: if if uh if a person uh well first of all, it's this. It could be any um it could be any person. It could be any ideology. It could be any religion. It could be any movement. It could be um any type of movement. It could be any type of um lifestyle or whatever. Any type of these things. If they if they go in disagreement um with, with the main things that that uh, that uh, everyone's supposed to focus on, which is loving loving the Father, knowing who He is, loving yourself, knowing who you are, and gain knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Uh, if it's not helping your fellow fellow um, brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying. If it's not helping you be one with nature and stuff, it's the Antichrist. It's the it's the Antichrist, and it's teaching a propaganda agenda and stuff. You know what I'm saying. So the reason why I'm saying all this is because um, I'm placing a, a warning right now. Is that even right now there are, there are different propaganda agendas that's happening right now and stuff you know what I'm saying um, these agendas we've been seeing it happening for the past um, couple of years one one agenda that's that's been um, that's been pushed is um the first agenda that's been pushed is the um it's the one uh, you know uh, heterosexual versus homosexual lifestyle and stuff that's the first thing agenda that's been a push and stuff was creating a separation you know what I'm saying Creating on um, a separation and stuff like that, making um people choose sides or you know you should be for this side or be for that side and stuff. The the next agenda does does be heavily pushed out. It's a agenda about race and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And this agenda is um and that's a, uh, that equates you know through the new movies talking about the um um black life matters movement, our life matters movement, the right supremacist movement and stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? These are other agendas that have been pushed out. Then another agenda that's been pushed out, but this has been pushed out for centuries, is the uh, agenda about religion. It's a religion itself where, where uh, it's creating separation of religion. It's the where, you know, uh, if you don't believe in Christianity, you consider the devil and, and God is not in you. If you don't believe in Islam, you consider the devil and God is not in you. If you don't believe in Hoodoo, I mean, not Hoodoo, but, but uh, Hindu, Buddha, uh, any type of other religion, and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You are the devil and, uh, you know, and God is not in you and stuff like that and stuff. So all these different agendas that are out there, all these different propagandists is out there. So, and, and the number one, Go of these propagandists that's put it pushing out there is to is to create separation. It's to create separation. It's to create oppression. You know what I'm saying? And it's causing destruction. 
you know, like right now, no, uh, not not have um people, even people who are friends with me on Facebook right now and stuff. You know, what I'm saying, you know, they um uh, I, I could tell that you know, what I'm saying they um ever since these things been going on stuff like that, I, I tell that they they um their mentality has changed and stuff where they start building up a tolerance of a uh, hatred for you know on different things that's going on and stuff. You know, what I'm saying instead of trying to figure out. What we could do to come together as one and stuff, right? And I'm not talking about one race. I'm talking about um, one people, humanity and stuff to come together where we could come together and re resolve whatever it is that's going on so we could be in unity. It's causing separation. It's causing their character to change. It's causing them not to be even at peace about, you know, even who they are and stuff like that. Now, I do want to um, mention this and stuff too, and stuff, you know what I'm saying, because I know I have radical people who are on my page and stuff too. I want to mention this too also, like, by no means, and I repeat, by no means, I'm not disagreeing, um, I'm not, um, you know, disagreeing with the fact of different things that happened d during the process of uh, history or during the centuries. I'm not disagreeing of, on, the, on the fact about, you know, um, uh, you know, black people, African American went through slavery and, and stuff like that, and through the you know through the right supremacists, through the you know the laws of the land, stuff like that. That um, that it was right for that to happen. Which that's not true. I don't believe that. I I, I know without a shadow of doubt that that's not true at all and stuff. Nobody shouldn't go through any type of slavery whatsoever and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially through through um through the uh, through the black culture and all the stuff there. So no, nobody should experience that type of slavery. But that's once again, that's dealing with the um, with, with the propaganda that I'm telling you about. And stuff about the Antichrist propaganda that's out there and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, even then, back in that day and stuff, um, they was actually using Christianity as a uh, as a forerunner to uh, to to dictate they they on superiority to towards the um you know the black movement and stuff like that to the the one uh, African American community to black people you know what I'm saying um they they was doing that and stuff so they could dictate their su superiority using Christianity as the weapon and that that that, um, that weapon been used for centuries and stuff you know what I'm saying so now but what's happening now is that a lot of people you know they are you know they they are quote unquote uh, waking up to the truth and stuff like that and begin to speak out about it which speaking out about it is good it ain't nothing wrong with speaking out about it ain't nothing wrong with not forgetting what's, what, what happened and stuff like that so there ain't nothing wrong with that not, nothing wrong with even sharing the history of it happening and stuff so it could so it could pass out through the generations so this same thing won't happen again however when that when that um, when you when that history when you start teaching history it start moving from um, self fulfillment when it start moving from you know uh, loving not only yourself but from other people and stuff like that no matter what race they are stuff like that and you start developing a hatred for people then that's when it start moving to the lines of you practicing. Uh, what is known as the Antichrist and stuff or the Antichrist ideology and stuff like that and stuff and so so if you're a part of that and stuff you know what I'm saying uh, my brothers and sisters if you're a part of that and stuff like that a movement and your whole heart is filled with you know what I'm saying with, with hatred and all the stuff there no matter what movement you're part of stuff like that I advise you right now to um, pay attention to this rent and to um, turn away and to um, turn away your differences and stuff like that and to um, go back to, to the source of Most High God and to uh, repent and ask for forgiveness and so he can uh, renew your mind and stuff so you can move forward and to um, not only helping um, yourself but helping your community and helping you know what I'm saying the world and stuff like that as well and stuff you know what I'm saying so uh, my, my time is up with, with this particular part of the rent uh, like, like I always so fight fake with fake fates with faith and I'll see you for part four of the series.